Alright guys, time for another video. So today we're going to show you how to make a aluminum intake like the one you see here. So previously I had talked about running the factory intake and I was going to do a 12 injector setup. My plan was to run a set of uh, intake spacers, 3D printed of course that had extra injector bungs in them so that you could add a second set of injectors. As some of you may or may not know, the factory injector bungs are in the intake, or sorry, in the cylinder head, so you can easily add a spacer like this to add a second set of injectors. As I was laying all of that out, uh, starting to figure out the fuel rails and that kind of thing. I just didn't like it. I, uh, I kept going through it over and over again and kind of obsessing over it. And it just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way the, the turbo just routed right into the intake. It didn't look aesthetically pleasing. So I gave up on it. We're not going to run the factory intake, but yeah, so that, that also changes our direction on the fueling as well, because I decided that I want to do E85 instead of uh, pump gas and methanol, like I had talked about previously. I decided that I wanted to be a bit of a show-off, and... Um, make a intake very much inspired by like the plasma man intakes that you see on like the Barras and you know the TJZs and stuff. So that's where we are. So let's uh, get to some uh, fabrication videos on how this piece was made. basically using a screwdriver and a piece of pipe like this. So how we're going to do that is we're going to bring this guy 
guy up close here. About like that. And then a little jam this guy. Alright, so basically we're going to take this screwdriver, we're going to shove it in here, and we're going to pry out, and that's going to flare the pipe out. We'll see what I mean in a second. screwdriver against and using the piece of pipe to create the um, radius and you just gently pry, gently pry, gently pry, run the mill at a or lathe at a really low speed and you are left with something like this. So we just need to make five more of these and we will be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, fabrication. I personally thought the uh, pressed eyes, the 3D printed pressed eyes was 
a particularly clever idea. I'm very happy with how my welds came out. And uh, we of course went to a four bolt um, LS throttle body. Additionally, uh, we started on the cold side. I don't have any video of that. We've just been kind of plugging away on this thing and you know, haven't really been uh, <laughs> keeping up with the video content quite as much, but uh, yeah. Um, so we started on that. It goes down here. Oh, and the intercooler as well. So the intercooler is a uh, actually out of a uh, DSM or originally um, was designed for a DSM and we modified the end tanks so that it fits in the Fairmont chassis pretty well. I hope um, that you guys enjoyed the content and uh, with that I think we're gonna cut this one off. Uh, in future videos we're going to finish up the cold side. I've already welded. Um, we've been using these real fancy uh, Wiggins style clamps. Um, they have these uh, clamps like this and they go around. You have to open up the clamshell obviously but yeah they go around here. Everything looks super fancy. Same thing over there and uh, I've been super happy with how everything's been coming out. You know essentially you know when we were looking at doing the factory intake it was sort of a, a rush job. You know, we were we were trying to get the car done, or I was trying to get the car done as quickly as possible just because I wanted to get it onto the track and go have some fun. But as time has gone on, it's like, I need to slow down. You know, I want this car to make a statement. You know, I want this car to really um, show the world what we're capable of and, you know, hopefully put these engines on the map, you know. Uh, if this thing can go an eight second quarter mile with a factory engine, I, people have got to start paying attention. Not that they aren't paying attention now, but, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's exciting. It's, it's neat to see, um, you know, Al from um, Skid Factory, he contacted me the other day asking questions about these. Jeremy Fermato. Um, you know, obviously Richard Holdner, I really appreciate you guys sharing the channel. Um, obviously, the more we grow, the more we can do. So keep it up and uh, really appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to uh, end this video off. And uh, you can look forward to more content on uh, this car in the near future. Um, hope to have it running by mid-summer and we'll see if we can get an 8. All right, catch you guys.